jama'a assalamu alaikum barka mu da warhaka barka mu kuma da sace saduwa a cikin wani sabon shirin na labaran channels wannan ni Abu Bakar Salih zan ja goranta mutumin shugaban kasa Kashim Shatima ya isa plato jihar da a baya bayan yan bindiga suka kai wasu muna dan harahare da suka hallaka sama da mutum 140 ta sace labarin ta channels ta wallafa wani bidiyo da ke nuna wasu manyan mukarraban gwamnati da gwamnatin jihar ta plato suna zauna suna dakon isuwar mutumin shugaban kasa a filin saukar jirajen sama na Yakub Gawan Kashim Shatima na ziyara a jihar ne domin duba irin barnar da aka yi a baya bayan wato aka yi bayan harin na jajibar ranar kirsimeti daga cikin tawagar gwamnatin akwai mai bayar shugaban kasa shawara akan harkokin sarkokin tsaro malam Nuhur Bado tare da babban hafsan tsaron tsaron kasar nan general Christopher Musa ziyarar ta suna zuwa ne yan kwanaki da kai harin da ya girgiza al'umar kasar nan to danganin da wannan batu shugaban kasa Bola Ahmed Tinubu yayi Allah wadde da harin da ya bayyana mafi muni da aka kai a kananan hukumomin Focus da barikin Ladi na jihar Plato wadanda suka yi sanadiyar a salar rayuka da dama inda ya bada umurnin gaggauta kamu wadanda suka aikata kashe-kashen shugaban a wata sanarwa da mai magana da yawun sa a jure Inglali ya fitar ya umurtu hukumomin tsaron kasar nan da suka gaggauta shiga lungu da sako tare da kamu masu hano alamarin shugaban Tinubu ya kuma bada umurnin a gaggauta samar da kayan agaji ga wadanda suka tsira daga hararan da aka kai da kuma bayar da kulawar da ta dace ga wadanda suka jikkata a yayin da yake jajantawa gwamnati da al'umar jihar ta Plato shugaban ya tabbata wadannan Najeriya da ciya wadannan jakadin da ya kira na mutuwa ba za su tsira daga hukumomin kasar nan ba ita ma kungiyar Amnesty International me rajin kare hakkin bil adama ta yi kira ga mahukuntar Najeriya da sabinciki duk wani harin da aka kai a jihar ta Plato tare da tabbatar da hukunta wadanda suka aikata laifin Amnesty International ta ce gazawar hukumomi wajen gurfa na da masu aikata irin wannan danyen aiki a gaban kuliya na kara ta azzara lamarin to nan kuma bayanai na ci gaba da fitowa fili akan girman haraharan da wasu yan bindiga suka kai tun daga ranar jajiburin Kirsimeti akan garuruwan jihar Plato guda 20 inda kungiyar Amnesty ta ce zuwa yanzu an tabbatar da kace fiye da mutum 140 akwai kuma karin daruruwan mutane da aka ji wa raunuka an kwantar da wasu daga ciki a babban asibitin gwamnati na barikin Ladi da kuma asibitin koyarwa na jami'ar Jos inda suke jinya director ya dala bare na gwamnatin jihar Mr. Gang Berry ya ce har yanzu ba su iya tabbatar da haƙiƙan nan alƙaliman mutanen da aka kashe ba tukunna a cewa sa cikin daren litinin an sake gano ga wakin wasu mutane da aka kashe ta ne jami'an tsaro da yan vigilante na yankin da kuma maharba suka ba zama cikin dazazzukan kusa domin neman mutanen da suka bata a cewar hukumomi an sanya wawa akan gidaje da gonaki wasu kuma an kone su a yayin farmakin da cikin dare kamar yadda shedu suka bayyana wa kafar ya dalabare ta BBC hukumomi sun ce yan fashin daji ne suka kai haraharan to anan ma shugaban kasa Bola Ahmed Tinubu ya nemi hadin kai a tsakanin gwamnatin tarayya da gwamnatocin jihohi wajen tabbatar da zaman lafiya da kwanciyar hankali da cigaban kasar nan baki daya shugaban yayi wannan kira ne a ziyarar da gwamnatin jihohin kasar nan suka kai masa a gidansa dake Lagos a ranar talata inda suka tattauna akan halin da kasar nan ke cikin musamman ma kashe-kashe da matsin tattalin arziki akan na zuwa ne a yayin da wasu yan bindiga suka kashe mutane sama da 100 a jihar Plato gwamnatin zamfara Dr. Dauda Lawar dare wanda yana daga cikin gwamnonin da suka gana da shugaba Tinubu ya ce gwamnoni sama da 20 ne suka kai wannan ziyara gwamnatin ya ce mun tattauna akan batutuwa da dama da suka hada da batun hadin kai da gwamnatin tarayya da kuma jihohi sa'annan yayi jaji akan abin da ya faru a jihar Plato na kashe-kashen da aka yi ya kare da cewa shugaba Tinubu ya yi alƙawarin yin dukkanin mai yuwa domin samawa al'umar kasar nan sauki ta hanyar samar da wasu tsare tsare na ciyar da jama'a gaba to nan kuma yan bindiga sun kone wata uwa da ayyan ta guda biyu tare da matar dan ta da ran su a jihar Sokoto an ta'addar sun yi wannan aika aika ne a wani hari da suka hallaka mutane 12 suka sace wasu mata uku a kauyen kuriya dake karamar hukumar raba a daren Lahadi wani mazaunan kauyen 
mai suna Yusuf Garba ya ce akwai wata da aka kone ta da ranta tare da ayyan ta guda biyu da sulkuwar ta a cikin daki Yusuf ya ce daga cikin matan da aka yi garkuwa da su akwai wacce ɗan bindigar suka kone mijinta da ransa ya ce daga bisani sojoji sun kawo dauki an yi musayar wuta kuma muna kyautar zaton sojoji sun kakkashe su saboda mun ga jini a wuraren da suka ajiye motoci da baburan su ko da yake dauke ga wucin su suke yi kaka kirin dinan yan sanda jaha sakoto ASP Ahmad Rafai ya tabbatar da mutuwar mutane bakwai sai dai ya ce suna ci gaba da tattara alƙalima anan kuma wani dan majalisar da ta daga jihar Taraba ya yi kira ga shugaban kasa Bola Ahmad Tinubu da ya sanya dokar ta baci a yankin sa na kudancin jihar da yake wakilta saboda matsalar tsaro da dalilin ta dalilin ayyukan dan bindiga wanda ke ci gaba da yin kamari a yankin Sanata David Jimkuta ya shedawa kafar ya da labarai ta BBC cewa sama da mutane 700 aka kashe cikin watanni 6 zuwa bakwai a yankin sa'annan al'amarin ya shafi garuruwa 62 abinda ya tarwatsa al'umar yankin ya ce abu ne na tashin hankali saboda masifa da bala'i idan kana ganin cewa ka dan ne gobe zai zo ya fi karfin ka domin mun ga abinda ya faru a Maiduguri kamar da wasa yau an fi shekaru 10 ana fafatawa a cewar sanatan mutanen yankin kudancin taraba yanzu sun koma kwana a makarantu wasu a majami'u saboda rashin tsaro a yankunan su ga harhara kullum na fada a gaban majalisa na kawo kuka akan wadanda aka yanka su banda wadanda aka kashe a watan nuwamba a cewar sanatan ya ce bai kamata gwamnati ta bari lamarin ya kazance ba har sai lokaci ya kure Anan kuma wata fashewa da ta faru bayan fasa wani bututun danyen mai da ke karkashin kasa a karamar hukumar Ogba Fai. Wato a karamar hukumar Ogba da Gedema da Ndoni da ke jihar Rivers ta halaka akalla mutane 20. Lamarin ya faru ne a karshen makon da ya gabata a karamar hukumar da ke zama daya daga cikin cibiyoyi masu arzikin mai da iskar gas a jihar da ke kudu masu kudancin kasar nan. Wutanni na cewa an kwanta da mutanen da suka samu kuna a asibitoci da dama a garin. Zuwa yanzu dai babu tabbacin abin da ya jawo fashewar da ta haddasa gobara da kuma adadin mutanen da suka mutu. Shugaban matasan yankin ya ce lamarin ya faru ne a lokacin da matasa suke raba danyen mai da aka sato a jarkoki. Wani dan jarida ya tabbatar da cewa gobara ta tashi ne sa ilin da matasan suke rigirgijen kwasar danyen man daga wani bututu da ke karkashin kasa a lokacin da gobara ta tashi. Tsohon gwamnati babban bankin kasar nan Mr. Godwin Emefele ya yi watsi da rahoton binciken da ya bayyana cewa ya bude a susun banku na har guda 593 wadanda ya yi amfani da su wajen boye mako dan kudaden gwamnati da niyyar yin kwanciyar majilbi a kansu a cikin sanarwar da ya fitar a ranar Lahadi Emefele wanda aka bayar da bailin sa a ranar Juma'a ya ce tuni ya baiwa lauyoyin sa umurnin shigar da kala akan rahoton da yace baba abin da ya kunsa sai kare dai domin bata masa suna a cikin rahoton binciken da ya shafe sama da watanni hudu yana yi Jim Obazi da shugaba Bola Ahmad Tinubu ya dora wa lahakin aikin ya bayyana cewa tsohon gwamnatin babban bankin ya bude daruruwan asusun bankuna da ya gano ba tare da izinin hukumar gudanar rubba babban bankin ba ko kuma na shugaban wancan lokaci wato Muhammad Buhari Aka zalika da hotan ya kuma bayyana gano pam 1443 da 482 da MFL ya boye a susun wasu bankuna da ke kasar Burtaniya kadai. Wani batu da binciken kwamitin na musamman din ya gano kuma shine yadda ake tuhumar Godwin MFL da bin wasu haramtattun hanyoyi a cikin dabara wajen karbe ragamar jagorancin wasu bankuna a Najeriya da suka hada da Union, da Keystone da kuma Polaris. yanzu kuma tsohon shugaban majalisar wakilan Najeriya Alhaji Gali Umar na Abba ya rasu da asbahin Laraban nan ya rasu ne a nan asibiti dake Abuja babban bannin tarayya kasar nan inda ya kwanta jinya dangin sa sun tabbatar wa da kafar ya da labare ta BBC cewa labarin rasuwar ta sa wato sun tabbatar wa da kafar ya da labare ta BBC da labarin rasuwar ta sa da asbahin wannan rana ta Laraba za a yi jana'izar sa da mala'ida misalin karfe 4 da rabi na yammacin yawa kofar kudu a to gidan sarkin Kano 
ta kuma binne sha makabartan dan dolo wato a makabartan dan dolo take goran dotse honorable gali na abba mai shekaru 65 an haife shi ne a Kano an fara zaben margayin ne zuwa majalisar wakile daga mazabar tarayya ta Kano municipal a shekarar 1999 to haka kuma kafafan ya da labarai a Nigeria na bada rahotannin cewa gwamnati rotin mai a kire da Lina Jahar Ondo ya rasu kamfanin dillancin labarai na Nigeria nan ya ce gwamnati ya rasu ne a kasar Jamus ya rasu yana da shekaru 67 bayan a cewa rahotanni ya shafe lokaci yana fama da cutar kansar jini da kansar mafitsara rasuwar ta sana zuwa ne kimanin makonni biyu bayan da gwamnati a kire da Lina rubuta wasikar tafiya neman lafiya inda ya mika ragamar mulkin jahar ga mataimakin sa Mr Lucky a yadda tiwa kafin sannan an yi ta dambar wa siyasa a jahar ta Ondo inda ya majalisar jahar suka yi yunkurin tsige mataimakin daga kan kujerar sa amma daga bisanin shugaba Bola Tinubu ya shiga tsakani gwamnati dai ya shafe kusan watanni uku a kasar Jamus yana jinya daga bisanin ya komo Najeriya a watan Satumba wannan kuma shirin namu zai dakata alabashi bayan dawo mu daga takaitaccen hutu za ku ji mu da karin wasu labaran ku biyo mu sai dai kan sannan za ku ji cewa babban bankin Najeriya ya bayo masu ajiyar banku na tabbacin cewa babu abin da zai samu kudaden su ku biyo mu a sashin labaran tattalin arziki da kasuwanci don jin wannan da ba wasu madan labarkan mu da dawowa kuna iya bibiyar mu addressin mu na internet channels tv.com ko kuma kulalube mu a shafin sada zamanta na youtube ta hanyar amfani da wayoyin ku na hannu kirar android ko ios da garin binan wayoyin na adana bayanai da zarar kun sauke wannan manhaja ta channels tv ko channels 24 babu shakka za ku ci gaba da samun labare da dimu dimun su a tafukan hannun ku haka kuma an tsara manhajar mu tashi din gani da ido domin ku riga aikon mana da hotuna ko video ko kuma labaran da ke faruwa a yankunan da kuke da zarar kun sauke wannan manhaja sai ku dangule ta da dan yatsa sa'an nan ku shafi kanta nan take kuma za ta bude muku wani jadawali daga nan kuma sai ku bi ka'idojin da aka zayyano domin aikon mana da sakon ne sai mun ji daga gare ku yanzu kuma shirin namu zai dora inda babban bankin Najeriya CBN ya baiwa al'umar kasar nan tabbacin cewa kudaden ajiyar su dake asusun bankuna ba sa fuskantar wani hadari inda ya jaddada samun daidaito a tsarin bankunan kasar nan babban bankin na Najeriya ya shawarci jama'a da su ci gaba da hulda da bankuna kamar yadda aka saba inda ya nemi al'uma wato inda ya nemi an kasa da su yi watsi da rahotanni marasa toshe game da halin da bankunan kasar nan ke ciki CBN ya ce yana da dukkanin kayan aikin da ake bukata wajen gudanar da ayyukan sa da suka safi hada hadar kudi wata sanarwa da mere lukan mukaman sashin ya da labare na bankin na CBN haka ma Sidi Ali ta fitar ta ce babban bankin ya ga wasu rahotanni a wasu kafafun ya da labare game da shawarar da aka baiwa gwamnatin tarayya na karbe iko da wasu cibiyoyin kudi karkashin kulawarta bankunan Najeriya suna harkokin su yadda ya kamata CBN na shawarta da ma'a da su ci gaba da tafiyar da harkokin su ba tare da samun fargaba akan rahotannin da ake yadawa ba wadanda ba daga CBN suka fito ba kamar yadda sanarwar ta bayyana anan kuma hukumar lafiya ta duniya WHO ta da gwamnatin Gambia sun zargi kamfanin har hada magunguna na kasar India mai suna Made in Pharmaceuticals da sauya samfurin magungunan tarin da aka mikawa masu bincike domin tantance ko sune sanadin mutuwar yara sabain a kasar ta Gambia a cikin watan Oktoba shekarar 2022 ne gwamnatin yara na Gambia suka rasa rayukan su bayan da suka sha maganin tarin kamfanin da India wanda bayan gudanar da bincike hukumar ta WHO ta ce magungunan sun kunshi gubar da tayi sanadiyar salwantar rayuka da dama a bayan bayan nan dai wasu majiyoyi suka bankado zargin cewa akwai wasu jami'an bincike na India da suka karbi cin hancin rufi miliyan 50 kwatan kwacin dala Amurka 600 inda suka sauya samfurin magungunan da za a bincika kafin mika su ga babban dakin binciken kasar lamarin da ya sa sakamakon da aka fitar da cikaro da na hukumar ta WHO tun a karshen makon jiya ne dai 
kampani na made in pharmaceuticals da musan tazar jin da ake musa na bayar da cin hanci domin sauya bayanan magungunan tarin da suka yi sanadiyar mutuwar gwamman yara daga fadin labaran kitare kuma gwamnatin sojin Burkina Faso ta tasa kiyar Ablaise Wadrigo tsohon ministan wajen kasar kuma jagorin jam'iyar adawa ta ne Faso Austria zuwa fagen daga domin taimakawa yakin da yan ta'adda da suka adabu kasar ta yankin Sahel matakin da ke zuwa bayan sukar da yayi akan cewa sojin kasar ba su shirya kawar da matsalar tsaro ba wasu ga wato wasu ga na wasu sheda cewa da misalin karfe 6 da rabi na yamma ta ranar Lahadi ne wasu motocin sojin Burkina Faso suka yi diran mikiya a kofar gidan Ablaise Wadrigo dake yankin Waga tare da ta sake yansa wanda daga nan kuma aka kai shi fagen daga domin yaki da yan ta'addar rahotan ne sun ce kaman jagoran jam'iyar adawar kuma tsohon ministan harkokin waje na Burkina Faso na zuwa ne kwanaki kalilan bayan da wasu daga dogon balaguro da yayi a ketare kuma a daidai lokacin yake tarbar baki masu yi masa barka da dawowa Abdullahi wa Dudugo mai shekaru 70 wanda ya jima yana sukar salan kamun ludayin sojoji da suka kwace iko da mulkin Burkina Faso a baya bayan nan yayi wasu kalamai da ke cewa sojojin kasar ba da gaske suke ba a yakin da suke yi da yan ta'adda kalaman da ake ganin sun fusa ta gwamnatin kasar a karkashin dokokin Burkina Faso dai gwamnati na iya tilastawa al'umma shiga aikin soji kuma tun gabanin dawowar Abdullahi wa Dudugo gida a karshen makon jiya ta ni gwamnatin mulkin sojin kasa karkashin jagorancin Captain Ibrahim Tore ta fitar da sunansa a cikin jerin wadanda sabuwar dokar tilas ta aikin soji za ta yi aiki a kansu dalilin ya sanya wato dalilin da ya sanya ta sake yansa zuwa bakin daga anan kuma ma'aikatan lafiyar Hamas take Gaza ta ce akalla mutane 241 aka kashe a cikin kwana guda a inda sojin Isra'ila ke ci gaba da kai samame a yankin shugaban Palestine Mahmud Abbas ya kira yakin a matsayin gagarumin laifi akan al'umar sa shugaban rundunar sojin Isra'ila Chief Hazi Halevi ya ce yakin da ake da Hamas zai ci gaba har tsawon karin wasu watanni da sanyin safiyar ranar Laraban nan aka ci karar abubuwa masu fashewa daga azirin Gaza a gabar yamma ta gogin Jordan kuwa majiyoyi daga likitoci a Palestine sun ce Palestinawa shida aka kashe a lugudan wutar da Isra'ila ta shafe dare tana yi a sansanin yan gudun Hijira na Nuri Shams da ke Tulkaram ma'aikatan lafiya a Gaza ta ce mutum 382 aka rauna ta a cikin sa'o'i 24 da ta gabata a cewa ma'aikatar akalla Palestinawa 2910 aka kashe a kasar yara da mata a cikin sama da makonni 11 da aka shafi ana yakin kawayan zade ba iya tabbatar da ikrarin girman barnar da bangarorin biyu suka yi a ranar bakwai ga watan oktoba ne aka soma yakin bayan da Hamas ta kai halara akan yankuna a cikin Isra'ila an kashe wasu mutane 1200 galibi farar hula an kuma yi garkuwa da mutane 240 a Gaza sai dai an saki wasu daga cikin su daga bisani daga fagen wasanni kuma mai horas da kungiyar kwallon kafa ta Manchester City Pep Guardiola yayi kirarin ciya baya jin komai game da ciccikar da yake fuskanta dangane da kuma bayan da kungiyar ke gani a bayan bayan nan domin kuwa kungiyar ta gama cin ma dukkanin marajan da take fata City wacce ta lashe club World Cup a makon jiya na ganin kuma baya a Premier wato a Premier England cikin wannan kaka kuma a yau ne take shirin kalawa da Everton daidai lokacin da yanzu take matsayin tabbiyar a table na Premier ana dai ganin bayan nasara City ta lashe kofin zakarin Turai wanda shi ya zama babban kalubale ga Guardiola kungiyar ta sassauta daga yadda aka santa a baya a cewar Guardiola yanzu Manchester City ta kammala babi na farko za ta bude wani sabon babin cin nasara a dukkanin wasannin da take tun wato take tun kala bayan doke Flamines da kwallaye hudu da nema a gasaccin kofin duniya ta kungiyoyi City ta kuma ta zama kungiyar Ingila da ya tilo da ta taba lashe kofin har guda biyar a cikin shekara guda Manchester City mai rike da kambun gasar zakarin nahiyar Turai yanzu haka ta kai matakin wasan rukunin 
da za ta hadu da Copenhagen a wasanta na gaba to ran ma Manchester City na gabdacin mai rajejeniya da dan wasan Argentina dake taka leader a River Plate Gladio Echeveri mai shekaru 17 a wani tsari da zai ba su damar daukan aran dan wasan har zuwa karshen kakar Premier bana inji ESPN Arsenal na san cin mai rajejeniya da dan wasan Sporting Lisbon mai shekaru 22 Goncalo Inacio a watan Janeiro a yayin da dan wasan na Portugal ke iya tafiya wata kungiyar akan euro million 60 a bisa yarjejeniyar da yake kai a yanzu ya ji hankalin Liverpool ji jaridan nan ta a bola ta kasar Portugal ana alakanta dan wasan Sporting Lisbon Victor Goecares mai shekaru 25 da Arsenal da Chelsea a watan Janeiro sai dai dan wasan na Sweden ya nuna ya fi san cigaba da zama a kungiyar Portugal har zuwa karshen kaka in ji jaridan nan ta 90 minutes Tottenham ta shirya biyan fam miliyan 25 akan dan wasan Belgium mai shekaru 18 dake buga tsakiya Arthur Bamerin daga Royal Antwerp in ji jaridar Sun tsohon dan wasan tsakiya na Ingila da Manchester United Jesse Lingard mai shekaru 31 ya samu tayi daga kungiyar Lille dake buga Ligue 1 a kasar Faransa in ji jaridar Mira Manchester United na duba yuwar daukar dan wasan Netherlands mai shekaru 22 Joshua Zek Zakze akan fam miliyan 26 dan wasan ya zura kwallaye bakwai a wasanni 17 a gasar Syria a inji jaridar nan ta Sport on wacce da ita muka karkare shirin a madadin dukanin wanda suka taimaka gurin kawo muku labaran ni Abubakar Salu ke ce da ku assalamu alaikum wacce gaba da kasancewa cikin koshin lafiya Allah ya ba mu alkhairinsa amin